stuff tonight, so I'd be writing a little true Bible study. <clears throat> and tonight, I want to deal with uh, the attack on the righteousness of God uh, in the world and in the church. There is a, an all-out assault on holiness, on righteousness, on that that God has deemed uh, to be godly, to be holy, to be righteous. And it's gotten to the place now where people in the church are defending sin. And this is disturbing, but it's the result of where we are today uh, is because the church is defending sin. Now, we have to stop making excuses and we have to stop going beyond, above beyond to make, to make uh, accommodations for sin. Or we always have to have, when we talk, when we criticize sin or teach against sin or, or preach against sin, is always disqualified. We have to qualify why and so forth and so on. Uh, and this is absolutely ridiculous. God's word is absolute all by itself. And God's word says what it says and means what it means. Whether you agree with it or disagree with it, it still means what it means. Uh, and so we're looking at we're looking at the assaults against the order of God, against the righteousness of God, against the holiness of God, against the ways of God. There's just an all-out assault on holiness. We're instructed in Galatians 5, Paul tells us to stand fast, therefore, in the liberty with Christ have made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. And so we are to walk freely. We are to walk as liberated people of God, uh, not, not uh, influenced by, nor, nor dictated to uh, by the ways or the standards of men. So we walk in the ways of God. Now, some once said they walked in the ways of holiness, but they've changed. Uh, they decided, some folks decided they got, so, they got so deep in Jesus until they could change him. They could change the standard. Well, I've been, I know, I know what it's all about. I've been in it so many years and this thing, another thing. And they change it as if they can. Uh, but Paul has a word for them too. Uh, Galatians four, uh, 5 and 7 says, he did run well. Who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? This persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. And this is so important. Galatians 5 and 9. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. The attack, the assault against the standard of holiness uh, uh, is sprinkled with making excuses for sin than having to qualify why, justify why you teach against sin, you preach against sin. Uh, we can't choose which sins we're against. We have to be against all sin that God is against, all of it, and all sin is not the same. Yep. There's a sin unto death, which means there's a sin not unto death. Yes. All the righteousness is sin, but there is a sin unto yes. death. A little leaven, the leaven of the whole lump. We start trying to, as people, start trying to, to excuse folks for their sins and, well, that sin's okay, this one's, no, no, all of it's sin. And if you allow a little of it in the church, just wait, because a little leaven, leaven of the whole lump. This is why we have to be against all sin, not just some sin. So you can't, you can't object to sin at your own convenience. Okay, well, I'm against uh, liars. So when you, oh, when you hit a liar, hey, amen, that's right, all them liars going there. Wait a minute. When we talk about homosexuality, you got to qualify. Well, you got to show love. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Are y'all you going crazy in the church? It's all sin. It just so happens that whatever your personal experiences have been, some sins affect you differently than others, right? If, if you've been lied to a lot, you can't stand a liar. So when someone says, lies going to hell, you get excited. Because <laughs> you, you had experience with lying folks. And you, I can't stand a liar. And oh, people say that one. I, can't, I hate a liar. 
Right. Well, there were folks that were talking about lying, God don't you lie, you get real loud. But you got a brother who's gay. All right. See, your, your best, your favorite cousin, he's gay. Yeah. Your big sister, lesbian. So we, when you start talking about homosexual lesbianism, all of a sudden now, well, you got to show some love. You got to show love. Or this thing, where you got to love the sinner but hate the sin. No. What defines you is what you do. If you're a murderer, you're a murderer. Yeah, you, you the act you the act of murder is what you do. <laughs> that defines who what you are, right? When I, uh, after the boys get their hair cut, they didn't get their hair cut by some guy who happens to cut hair. He's a barber. He identifies himself as yeah. a barber. Amen. That's what he calls himself yeah. because that's what he does. Yes. Right? If you're if you keep if you protect folks, you, you wear the uniform and you're employed by the city or the county or the state, you're a policeman. That's what you do. What do you do if I'm a policeman? Well, that's that defines who what you are. You're a policeman. Right? You don't take the, you know, I'm I'm a US senator, but I'm only a senator when I'm in the state and in the uh, in the uh, uh, house or 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 am, I'm dealing with, with uh, uh, anything in DC. But once I leave the federal grounds, I'm no longer saying, No, you're a senator, it defines who what you are. That's who what you are. When you're a sinner, that's not what you are. You practice sin, you're a sinner. I'm sorry, I can't separate you from what you do. Well, well, and, and this is how you know people lying, okay? Separate them from what they do. Then leave your child with a child molester. Mm. You're not going to do it. No, you're not. What they do is molest. What they are is a molester. Now, you can, now that right there is not a problem. We can, we, can, we can go with that one all day long. My child, I can be like, okay, that's fine, that's fine, and that's wisdom. But the why is it that we start talking about other some sins that you tolerate? All of a sudden, now you gotta you gotta hate the sin, but love the sinner. Mm. You don't hate a child molester. You don't hate the KKK Grand Wizard, black folks. So all of a sudden, now we want to start parsing well, now. Well, you got no, we don't make exceptions. We, just, we simply go by the word of God. If you add or take away, the Bible says that you be accursed. And there are a lot of people who are, who are accursed. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. The assault, the attack on holiness has to do with tolerating the little leaven. It is the little fox that destroys the vine. And so it's the little things that have that have gotten the church to where it is now. The church, and I don't mean God's church, I mean man's church. But people identify the church as God's church. Everyone identifies, when you say you're going to church, they don't determine, well, that's, no, they, they consider it the church. And so, you know, it just, it's our reality. So there's the church of the saints, but then there's also the church. And the church of man... For people who know that, or don't, they don't make any distinction between the, the distinction between the church of the saints, the church of God, uh, and this church at large. Uh, and so the things that are that are taking place, and then, and then some churches used to be the church of the church of the saints, but they changed. They let down the standard. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, when 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 the church, when we taught, when we were sanctified, we were apostolic, showing up to the core, and we taught against women wearing pants and women wearing tight clothes and yeah. men wearing tight clothes and women yeah. wearing short dresses and short yeah. skirts and women didn't have their arms out, didn't have their legs showing, didn't have the breasts showing. Women used to, didn't do anything. They didn't have all this war paint on and, 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 and lipstick and, and jewelry. You got earrings dangling to the floor and got bracelets lined up on, all, on both arms filled with braces and all this stuff. That's not how we were. We were, well, we're still like that. Let's get that straight. We're still hey, sanctified. Hey, but when we were sanctified, we had less sin in the church. I say no sin. We had less sin. But then we let in a little leaven. See, that ain't, ain't going to be no problem. That's all godly. Now we've been liberated. We've been informed, right? We, we've come out of bondage. So now they put on the pants. They put on the shorts. They didn't wear them in church. Yep, they go to church. And they're dressed like pure tea, worse than hookers. Hooker has enough respect now. They go to church to go like that. And they, they wear anything. You've got five different colors 
in your hair and you cut your hair all off. The Bible says, we used to teach, and we still do, that the hair is the woman's glory. And now they chop it all off and, 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 and got the nerve to chop it off and then, and then pay someone or sew something in uh -huh. or throw something on top and paint it on. That's what God gave you. Understand? So it's a, it's a little leaven. We used to not go to the, to the uh, movies. We, not, we didn't go skating and boat and all that stuff. When we had time, we spent our time in prayer, spent our time with, with the people of God. Now, folks don't even want to come to the church. They don't want to spend time with true believers. They'd rather go and spend time with yeah. the world. Uh -huh. So you look like the world, you walk like the world, you talk like the world, you go everywhere the world goes, you do everything the world does. Guess what you are? You are the world. You are the world. By their fruits you shall no, no. know them. A little leaven. Leaven with a whole lump. You can't go. You can't do. Now here's the carnal mind. Well, show me where it's a sin. It's a sin because you want to do it. Oh. You've been transformed by the anointing of your, your mind. mind. Yes. Old things are yes. passed away. Behold, all things are become new. If you have the mind, the desire to be, to go to places you used to go, then you, you, you're not new. You're That's old. right. That's right. You're old. Old things have not passed away. A little leaven, leaven the whole lump. Well, it, it ain't no harm. Y'all too strict. Y'all too traditional. Y'all too this. Y'all too that. Too hard. Too judgmental. We're going to stay all of those right there. Yeah, we gonna, because we're going to go to heaven. Understand? If you don't shun the ways of the world, you can't make it to heaven. You can't serve two masters. So you can't live for Jesus and live for the devil at the same time. So you got to choose who you're going to serve. You can't do both. Unpo very unpopular. And most of them who I know who used to stand on this don't stand on this anymore. Now everything, everything that, that, that the world is doing, our, our church are doing it, and, and most of them are doing worse things. And it's unacceptable in the eyes of God. A little leaven led with the whole lump. And so here's the assault, the attack on the church, that when you hold to the standard of holiness, then you become an enemy of the church. Well, I'm looking for some enemies. Mm. I'm trying to make more enemies. Yes. Ain't that wonderful? Amen. Amen. I'm instructed to put difference between holy and unholy, between unclean and clean. That's what we're instructed to do from the beginning. God told Israel, they told his people that and we are his people. Put difference. Put is something you do, isn't it? That's right. Get the action. Make sure that how you live is different from unholy because it has to be holy. It has to be clean, not unclean. It has to be righteous, not unrighteous. If there is no difference, then there is no difference. Mm -hmm. A little leaven, leaven is the whole lump. The lump is messed up because we've let any and everything in the gates. And now... Uh, we're in the process now of, of backtracking and, and trying to justify sins and, and, and trying to make exceptions for sins and all this stuff. No, all unrighteousness is sin. Lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset you and run this race with patience. God set the race before us to run it his way, not our way, to run his race, not our race. So the course that God sets before the people of God is holy, is righteous, is godly. It is set apart from yes, the world. Lord. Yes, Lord. A little leaven leaven at the whole Lord. lump. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. A little leaven leaven at the whole yes, lump. Now, if you love the Lord, you obey him. Yes. If you truly have the love of God in your heart, you want all men saved. Yes. You can't have the love of God and wish that anyone be lost. The love of God that won't let you say stuff like this. All them faggots need to be killed and, mm. and, and contract AIDS. No, 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 not the love of God. Not the love of God. Not the love of, I, I know you hate a liar, but you, the love of God won't, won't lead you to say, I hate them all, all lies ought to be dead. No, not the love of God. The love of God wants absolutely no one dead before they're filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. If they've not been born again of water and of the spirit. Because if it's God's will that we all come to repentance, it has to be my will as a child of his. So if it isn't my will that we all come to repentance, then guess what? I'm sinning. For all the law, uh, verse 14, Galatians 5, 14, for all the law is fulfilled in one word, 
given in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. To the church. This is to the church. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. See, you can't take shots at folks who stand on holiness. Now they want to mute the message of holiness in the church. But don't, don't talk about that. Don't preach against that. Don't teach against that. Really? We're not going to attack sin. What's killing us is sin. What's taking us to the lake of fire is sin. And we're not going to attack sin. And my response, my reply to you is don't get up. Don't you talk about talking against sin. Let me handle that. Handle what? It's not being handled. And it's not being handled because the preacher won't handle it. And if I say I'm the pastor and I'm not handling it, it's not being handled. So then God speaks through a vessel to handle it. And I get mad because I won't speak, preach, teach against it. I won't stand against it. And when God sends a voice in the house, I get mad. I'm the pastor here. You, you do, oh, oh, stop. This is God's house. It's God's house, not Gandhi's house. God's truth, not my truth. It's God's truth. And I promise y'all, if I won't tell it, somebody's going to tell it. Mm -hmm. God will have his truth Jesus, told. Jesus, yes, he will. Yes. Whether I tell it or not. That's right. So it just stands the reason that it's God's truth is going to be told. I guess I might go ahead and tell it. Stay out of trouble with God. Amen. I don't care about people. People are going to hate me all day when they talk about me and do whatever. I, I, could, I couldn't care less about people. But I'm so scared. I'm, I, I'm, I'm so scared to displease God. And the things that we're allowing in the church today, God is not pleased with this mess. And so now we, we got, we, we've gotten to the point where we do any and everything. And when someone says something against it, you cop an attitude. Well, if you're right, why are you mad? So don't don't jump on folks who, who when folks are against sin, don't jump on them. Mm -mm. Don't jump on them. No, you better get on board. Be against sin. God's against sin. His things in his nostrils. He's against sin. You ought to be against sin. Now you can't you can't pick and choose a little leaven. Just a little. You all understand? Just a little. Yes. And every, every church you go to now, you look at them, they all got praise dances. Mm -hmm. They all pray. They up doing all this shaking and gyrating they're carrying on. Now, and, and the truth of the matter, the truth of the matter is some of it you see, it's not offensive. It isn't lascivious. But the problem is a little leaven, leaven the whole lump, see? So if I let a step in here, the step is going, the next step is the shake and step. You understand? Let's keep it all out because it's necessary for our salvation. So no sense in the, and no sense to open up the gate because you just get a little crack in it, it's going to bust wide open. A little leaven, leaven the whole lump. So how about this? Keep your clothes on and sit your hiney down. Mm. No shaking and gyrating. That's right. How about that? Oh, that's good. And we don't sit in church just pleasing God. That's right. The Bible talks about the abomination of desolation. Uh -huh. uh, this, some of these things are included in the abomination of desolation. When you're standing in God's house and shaking your flesh and, and you got all your stuff showing, and whether it's the praise team or some um, out of control woman up half naked talking about she up she up in the spirit, God ain't got body parts shaking and trembling in, in the house. No, he exposed to my the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost will sit you down. That's another spirit got you jumping up. When we were sanctified, we sit them down. Yes. Now I like to see them shake because it looks good. They want to see him shake. Ooh, they like that shaking. All that stuff going everywhere, see? We were sanctified. If they said they would say it, they wouldn't be here. First of all, they wouldn't dress like that because we had to stand it. Yeah. See? And the one came dressed like that to me she was saved. Uh, we put the clamps down on her. Now they want to put the clamps with a whole not the whole nother way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we got all this mess going on in the church now. And you they get mad when you say something about it. No, no half, no half naked woman has no business up in the church. Doing anything. She needs to get her, get her flesh covered. You understand? Amen. When we were sanctified, our women didn't wear that stuff. Now they they, they evolved down. Yeah. And some who used to look sanctified, they were clean. No makeup, no jewelry. Look clean. Look good. See them now, you don't even know who they are. Let me tell y'all something. No woman of God paints her face. That's Amen. right. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. 
relationship. It's about holiness. Yes. Women of God don't paint their face. That's right. If you paint your face, you're not a woman of God. Jesus. If you show your flesh, you're not a woman of God. Yes. Yeah, if, you, if you're a whoremonger, you're, you're a man showing your body, dog, you're not a man of God. Jesus, Lord. People of God are modest. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all hear me? Amen. 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 God got no bunch of got haircuts and all this stuff. She got her do like a man. She got all kinds of colors in it. They got all kinds of braids and, and, and uh, weave and all this stuff. No woman of God. No woman of God. Mm. You're not dressing for God. You ask yourself this question. Is God looking at me? Is God pleased with me looking at me? Yeah. I look like Mimi from the Drew Carey show. Look like Bozo the Clown. Is God pleased with me? Jesus. And when I take this stuff off, no one knows who I am. I'm Jesus. a different person. Do you dare think God's pleased with that? Mm. And I've said it before. If you are so ugly until you got to cover yourself up, well, you know, I understand that. But but be ugly for Jesus. Mm. And if if you're married, be ugly for your husband or for your wife. You are who and what's why you look like you look. That's the way it is. Yes. And some people really do have from uh, 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 deformities for, for different reasons, and 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 they do things with the deformities. Sometimes the deformity is so uh, uh, it is visually uh, uh, um, offensive to others. So from someone, and they do things cosmetically uh, to to just to conceal that. And I, I believe it's all in place, you know, because it's not that's not in terms of vanity. You know, there are some things. Like, you ever, you ever see a person walking around, they, they wear a bag on their legs for urine, and they walk around with the collection bag showing. Uh, you got shorts yes. on. Your bag ought to be covered. It ought to be. Some stuff just ought to be covered. If, if you have a, uh, uh, somehow your eye messed up, whatever, and you put shades on your face, yeah, you're not going to be cool. You're going to conceal whatever's going on with your That's eyes. Right. That's right. You understand? Amen. 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 Yeah, some women, all their hair just falls out. And they put something on their head to cover their head because all their hair fell out. Well, she goes and she buys her wig because all of her hair fell out. That's right. Oh, teach. That's right. That's she right. ain't trying to be Miss Ann. Yes. She has a problem or her hair fell out. I know some folks will try to, will try to uh, split, will try to split uh, 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 splinters and stuff like that with all that. But that that's nonsense. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. But this stuff we're talking about, we're sanctified. And in a sanctified church, you got everybody looking like whores and pimps. Jesus. Not godly. Jesus. Not godly, y'all. Yes. You hear me? Yes. It's not godly. It's just not godly. No. No. Saved folks live like saved folks. Unsaved folks live like unsaved folks. You can get mad if you want going to answer to God. This I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall fulfill the lust of the, f uh, shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For he, for the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. You can't do the things that you would. Well, my flesh, I don't know, I just love these heels. Baby, take those heels off like that. They're too high. See, see, something about those real high ones, they get your body going a certain way. Yes, they do. And it tips a man. Yes. See, you got all that stuff working, that stuff working together for ungood. Uh huh. For no good. It's the truth. For low down. Some stuff, you got to consider if, if, if you wear it, if you do it, it's whatever. To, and your, your, your rebuttal for, for someone uh, condemning it is, well, I, if you, it offends you, that's your problem. You shouldn't have been looking. Then you need the Holy Ghost. Because I am my brother's keeper. Amen. Understand? Amen. We have too many, uh, uh, too too many uh, in the church today with the spirit of Cain, and they're killing all the Abels. At least they're trying. And and you stand before God, and God asks you, uh, uh, "Where's Abel? I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? Well, yeah, you are, murderer. And no murderer is going to stand before God in peace." For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. Uh, and these are contrary to one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now listen to verse 19. Now the works, Galatians 5 and 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. 
which are these. Remember now, a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. That includes every form of sin. Yes. And such like, all inclusive. Of which I tell you before, as, as I also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now here's where my heart is saddened. Because people will try to justify sin. Little leaven, that was the whole no. lump. They try to justify sin. Now, and, and I mean it's on my heart. If you know, if you're convinced 100% that you're in line with God's holiness, why do you get offended when someone criticizes you? I don't care what criticism people launch against me. As long as I know my lifestyle is lined up with the word of God, I'm good. I'm good. You know, when you preach against sin, people tell you you're hateful, you're mean, all this kind of stuff. I'm good with all of that. No problem. I'm not offended by those criticisms at all. Because I know I'm in the Word. Yeah. Understand? I know I'm in the Word. I know I know God is against sin. All of it. Even a little. Because a little leaven leavened up the whole lump. So even a little. The little foxes, they, they, they're destroying the vine. They're getting at the very source of life in the vine. They're destroying it. You can't let them destroy you. Understand? Because no man can destroy God's church. Let's get that straight. God's church will stand because God's church stands on the word of God. Yes. And heaven and earth won't pass away, but God's word is going to stand. Yes. So if you're standing on the word of God, you don't worry about it. You're going to stand. But you got to stand firmly on the word of God. See, you can't let down some. I, I can't let a little sin in the house. Well, no, a little leaven. Leaven the whole lump. If I teach women don't paint their nails, you can't paint your nails and come in and operate as a member of this church. That's right. Amen. You can't do it. Amen. I teach according to the scriptures. A woman will operate, she got the head, head covered. That's right. So she can't be a member of your cornerstone and operate and her head's not covered. That's right. Amen. She, she can't do it. Now, if I allow it, a little leaven, leaven the whole lump. Understand? Amen. If a man's gay, he can't operate you on a stone as a member. We ain't gonna come join. But the thing is, is that if I allow that to happen, God's gonna hold me accountable. That's right. I That's know right. he's a whoremonger. And I'm gonna let him operate here in this house as a member of this church. Can't do it. Can't do it. No. A little leaven leaveneth the whole oh, month. Wow. Gotta be careful. It's the small things, y'all. It's the, well, that's just harmless. No, no, it's not. no sin is harmless. Amen. All sin will kill you. All of it. The devil will slow walk you and destroy the very, the very semblance of holiness in you. He's done it to many in the church. So whereas they used to uh, stand on holiness, I was born and raised in that church. Stood on holiness. My daddy taught holiness. The whole church done changed. They do it in everything now. God's not pleased with that. As long as you're breathing, you got, a, you got a chance to come back to God. God's not pleased with that. When you, when you, when you decide that, oh, they had us in bondage because we didn't, we couldn't wear pants, we couldn't wear makeup. You're a liar because you said you believed it. Mm -hmm. You're a liar. If those preachers were godly enough to bring you to Christ, you mean tell me they were they're ungodly enough to keep you in Christ? Mm. So now all they said and did. Is ungodly, but your testimonies of the miracles of God have to do with those preachers, not with these this new uh, day, this new age preacher who's all about your M O N E Y. Right. And God did no miracles. There's no working of God in the church. I know they talk about it. I don't see it. Mm -hmm. They always talk about what they, what happens around with some folks who you don't know anything about. When I was in New York, well, I wasn't there. I just know that every time I've been in your presence, nothing's happened. Now, why is it that God works so mildly through you when, when I don't, I'm not around, but when, 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 when folks who know you are around, uh, are, are around, nothing's happening, but you're talking about what happened somewhere else. 
But what about the manifestation of the fruits of the, of the gifts of the of, of the spirit uh, here in the presence of the people? That's right. Because we we tied God's hand. God can't use us because we're not clean vessels, and He does not dwell in unclean vessels. That's not what He does. That's right. So all the works of the flesh and such like of the which I tell you before, as I've also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, if you don't inherit the kingdom of God, where do you think you're going? Yeah, so you have, eternity has two options. The kingdom of God, which is heaven, or the kingdom of the devil, <laughs> the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, and death and hell shall be cast into the lake. So it's one of the two. So if you practice these sins, you shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You have to know this. You can't. You, you just can't decide, well, I'm going to do part of it. No. All unrighteousness sin. is sin. So I don't want to be guilty of any of it. Mm -hmm. Now, folks say something, well, ain't nobody perfect. You ain't perfect. Hold on. I'm going to tell you who's perfect. The God I serve, he's perfect. His name is Jesus. Because we follow Jesus Christ, we were called at Antioch by the world Christians. Mm -hmm. the, the title, the, the label embraced by the people of God in the scriptures. So we're first called Christians at Antioch. We're still called Christians. A Christian is one who was like Christ. One who was like Christ. So you look at your lifestyle and say, now, is that like Christ? Is Christ a gossip? Is Christ a busybody? Is Christ an alcoholic? Does Christ cuss? Does Christ go to the boat to gamble? Does Christ extort money from people? Jesus. Is Christ gay? Mm. Is Christ lesbian? Is Christ a whoremonger? Is Christ envious? So you go down the line. Now, if you say you are a Christian, you say you are like Christ. To be like Christ means to be perfect. So anything in you that is imperfect, you want it taken away from you. So you lose yourself in Christ. Yes, Jesus. Walking in perfection. Yes. Hmm? Your flesh will never walk in perfection if your spirit doesn't have the will to walk in perfection. The idea of perfection has to do with your will. I may have done the wrong thing, but it was against my will. The flesh war lusts against the spirit, the spirit against the flesh. You better make sure the spirit wins. Y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. Go down to verse number um, 25. Okay. 25, at least 5 25. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Now, if we live in the spirit, walk in the spirit. In other words, if you live in the spirit, I like it. Let your, let your living be reflective of one living in the spirit. When you live in the spirit, you don't look like the world. You don't talk like the world. You don't use substitute words. You don't, you don't use those. You don't use a substitute word for a cuss word. Because if the cuss word is in you, well, you may use a substitute, but you still, it's in your heart, right? Amen. So no different what Jesus said, man looks like a woman to lust. He's committed adultery in his heart. So you, you already, you've already sinned. Mm -hmm. Understand? Amen. So you can't, you can't get around these things. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be, be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envy one another. And so it, it, it's not about trying to prove you're more sane than someone else. Because I don't go here, I don't wear this. It's not, it's not, it's nothing about that. Mm -hmm. If we're going to be on holiness, it has to be, it has to stand by itself. It's not in relation to someone else. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we don't criticize sin to try to make ourselves appear to be more sane. We criticize sin because God's word does. Because God is holy. And so if we're going to be like him, we have to be holy. Yes. We have to reject everything that is unholy in ourselves first mm -hmm. and then in everybody else Amen. and everything else. 
you have to reject the sin in you. You understand? Amen. Now, if you don't reject the sin in you, then you can't reject the sin in other folks. Some of us were comfortable with our sin, but we want, we want to criticize everybody else. No, let the criticism begin at yourself. If it begins at me, then when I come to you, I'm not coming to you trying to kill you because I realize this, is that I need mercy too. Yeah. So it's a great thing when there's, when there's mercy against judgment. So we want to be merciful. In other words, when everyone, everyone's sins that, that we disagree with based on the scriptures, not based on how we yes, feel. That's we right, that's right. Based on the scriptures. Yes. If God criticizes it, it's sin. That's if right. God says it's sin, it's sin. That's right. But we don't condemn it to kill people. We condemn sin to uplift Christ. Because he's holy. So we make sure we draw the distinction. Amen. Someone, somebody does not want to live in sin who's living in sin. Someone wants, wants a more excellent way who's stuck in an ungodly situation. And, this, and the worst ungodly situation is one that is religious. Because when folks are in church and they're not taught the standard of holiness and they're taught you can do whatever you want. See, you, you can be in church at night and, and, and cut up and, and, and be all up in the mashanda, be all in the spirit. When you leave out tonight, you go and, and commit your sins. It's okay. Make sure you just come back next time. Be ready to have church again. But once you leave here, go have fun. Some folks don't even know any better. They think that's the lifestyle. They think that's what God ordains. Because they definitely won't read the Bible. And the preacher won't either doesn't know it or, or won't teach to it. But God is holy. He's holy. So if it is our job, our responsibility to uphold the blood-stained banner of Christ. He, Christ didn't come for us to, he didn't suffer, bleed, and die for us to maintain to walking in sins. Mm -hmm. He came that we might have life, and that more abundantly. And there is no life in sin. Sin bringeth about death. When, when James says, every, writes, every man is tempted when he's drawn away of, of his own lust and enticed. And, and when love, lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Sin will kill you. A little leaven, yeah. a little sin, makes the whole thing sin. It spreads. Yeah. Even communication of good manners, it spreads. You have to shut it off. You have to put yeah. difference. Well, find that in the Bible. It's there. It says put difference. Yeah. I ain't going. It says put difference. I'm not doing it. I'm not saying I'm not wearing it. Because the Bible says put difference. Yeah. I'm going to action. That's a verb to do it. Put, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to put. You got to put your holy foot down. Mm -hmm. See? Because a little leaven. Leaven the whole lump. But you have to be aware of this. Be cognizant of the fact that holiness is under attack beginning in the church. And it's the little things. And folks who try to shame you, try to make you look silly and stupid, or make you feel like you're judgmental or be unreasonable. Sometimes it's crazy and not right and right the word because you stand against the mess that people are doing in the name of Jesus Christ. No? If it were sin 20, 25, 30, 35 years ago, it's still sin. Yes. Sin hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. God hasn't changed. God can't change. Sin is, is still what it's always been. From the very beginning, it was sin. It's still sin. And sin will always be sin. Mm -hmm. But thank God, there won't be any sin in heaven. Ain't that wonderful? Amen. 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 Won't be any sin in heaven. So we're looking to make it to heaven. Amen. But there is no sin. But while we're here, little leaven, leaven the whole lump. So you can't play with it. You can't toy with folks who, who, who let down the standard. You can't, they can't be your buddies. They can't be your prayer partners. Amen. Because Amen. prayer Amen. is a spirit. Amen. 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 You only pray with every spirit. Amen. Someone will wreck you. Little leaven. Yes. Don't let that leaven come in your life. Keep it out. Keep the little sin out. The whole little fox. Then you know you're in trouble. Now you're on life support because you disobeyed God. You disobeyed the voice of God through the man of God. Little leaven. Leaven the whole life.